past, but the morphling kind of DK meat of the sandwich is the same. As our players will enter the field of battle. Man, that uh, that early horn always throws me off. Yeah, a bit. Uh, I assume that's like a sound asset. It's a they it's a flare. You know? Yeah, it's uh they. So sometimes like when our panel goes long, it'll like sound one after another, and it always throws me off. <laughs> it's just got wah wah. We just want you guys to wake the hell up because this is ESL One Los Angeles Online, powered by Intel. It is fantastic Dota and just the beginning of. You know, really the juiciest part of the schedule, this yeah, EUCIS group stage. We get to watch Dendi play Dota again. That's going to be hype. Yeah, you get to listen to the soothing, dulcet tones of uh, Blitz. What more could you ask for? Don Dito? Just a little bit less of a stomp, maybe, than game number one. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I really think it's a very good Morphling game. They have a very similar lineup. I'd say... Um, I mean, the big switch is that they went from playing the Mirana themselves to the Phoenix. In nice. fact, it now goes in uh, Big Num's hands, who had a rough Dazzle performance. <laughs> All right. Teams entering the lanes now. So we are going to see the uh, Phoenix Ogre for the moment trying to invade this top side. They do have a ward down as well. Ah, I see what they're trying to do. They're hoping that the Wraith King was going to try to block the wave. And then they could get a bunch of harass on him. Yeah. But unfortunately, it won't happen. This does not look like a very fun lane for Wraith King. <laughs> Already no. laning against the Legion isn't great for any melee carry, pretty much. You've got the Phoenix Harass with the Fire Spirits. Like You're going to so have a rough is, time there. This is the one part where uh, you're good against the Morph. He's literally level one. Um, he doesn't want to fight into your Flame Guard. And he's not going to skill waveform. Yeah, so. exactly. Like When it hits level three, though, that's when the matchup is... Uh, Really one-sided. I think the last two times we saw it actually in ESL, it was a stomp when it was a Morph versus an Ember. Um, last time we saw it was uh, South America actually, when Chris Luck had to play the Ember Spirit against. Uh, can't remember. Was it 40R? It was really one-sided though. So another courier snipe by another Marana. This time it's uh, Big Num getting Dendi's courier. Does have a fair amount of regen though, so I don't think it's going to impact his lane all that much. Does have Breathe Fire level one though. Is that just to secure the ranged creep, mm. you think? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Probably feels like he doesn't need a second level. And uh, true to your word, the Legion Commander is doing very well. Two CS on the right. And the lane is pushing, so he's got a few creeps to catch up on. But it's hard to lane against Phoenix as like a, any melee carry, really. Yeah, it's not easy. At least in the uh, beginning. I mean, let me say, Phoenix is just such an annoying hero to lane against. I hate playing against that hero. You can't, like, if he has dive up, you never feel good about going on him. You just feel like it's wasted. And Perhaps. they don't have a good solution for the dive, really. No, not really. They'd have to, like, time it with the... Uh, the cookie or the... Yeah, exactly. I mean, the Wraith King stun's not going to get there in time if he's already swooping, right? No, so. the projectile's so slow. He'd have to be swooping towards you. Oh, look at that. Big Num's even going to... He's like 1v2-ing them, basically, while <laughs> Legion just hits creeps. He's running mid right now. I'm not really sure what the expectation is here. Um, he's being chased around by an ogre right now. doesn't have, like, a creep wave pulled or anything like that. And Gets the war sentry down. Uh, the battle over those wards for the Marana rotations always of utmost priority. Yeah, Mars is getting pretty good farm, though. Uh, not really slowed down himself too bad. And it looks like Ember's doing fine mid. A little bit of an aberration, I'd say. It, it just feels like this Marana is going to have to make plays because Wraith King is having a really bad time. Mm -hmm. 6 CS to the 16 to 5 of Legion. The other lanes seem fairly similar thus far. Yeah, we've seen a really fast uh, pace exhibited by all the teams uh, so far in this tournament. And Wraith King is one of those heroes that doesn't pace very quickly. Uh, he really relies on his farm. He's more of a plodding, you know, marathon runner, at least in the early stages. Yeah, and Pikachu actually is doing really well mid. Uh, surprisingly enough, Excalibur has decided to not go for uh, the build that we normally see. With the waveform now. Yeah. It used to be this build for a while. Mm -hmm. And then it just switched because this got so much worse and waveform. The damage is a lot worse at the early levels, yeah. right? Especially. And uh, everyone's just kind of been going for the wave. Make waves, man. Gives them that little bit of extra burst, I do suppose. And 21 CS to the 8 of Palantimos in this top lane. Oh, wow. I did not think it was that. I, I was like, oh, okay. So he's got three, but the next creep wave will come under his wave. Life will be a lot easier. Life's not getting easier. 
Uh, but it's really the Phoenix, right? Like yes. the, the Legion's just hitting creeps. King R is a value support. So that's two games in a row now where he's crossed the laning stage. And this one feels more like just the matchup-wise. It should be tough as Excalibur. Manny not mid, did have to pop his fairy fire, lobs out the adaptive strike, brings his opponent low, but not able to get the kill. And you mentioned Mars having a decent game, but now the breathe fire uh, just right click trades with the two points and the armor. Like it starts to add up, and it seems Dendi is slowly pulling away here despite not having any help. He's getting out leveled, but that's just because of the sheer amount of creeps that are coming to him. Last year was doing okay when it comes to uh, farming levels, at least. A triple ranged creep. Yeah, it's going to be tasty if he can actually get all of those. Uh, and now in mid lane, the morph is starting to pull a little bit ahead. In fact, Ember had to go back to base the heal. So with the way the lanes have developed, it feels like they have the edge right now. Uh, do you see uh, CL as a team that can like turn this around? Do they have like some good options in the mid game? Yeah, they just need to uh, farm. Well, as that works. Looks like an arrow into. Was it arrow into chains or chains and arrow? Not Might sure. have been chains and arrow. That would make sense because the morphling doesn't have any levels away from. Um, that is the downside to this build, I guess. Yeah, and I, I guess he just didn't start morphing soon enough. And look at this, uh, King R is not making life any easier for Palantimos. I really like what he's doing here. He's dragging away the- Oh, I don't like what he's feeling right now though, Blitz. Not with that snipe, as Marana coming up. All flush again, two games in a row now. This hero has been making the best plays. Hero. Doesn't need a setup at all. Yeah, apparently. Just hero, just hit arrows, lol. Yeah. <laughs> but look what they're doing. Uh, they're making sure that the Wraith King skeletons follow and don't help them farm. I think that's really smart. Yeah, it I slows him down a lot. A lot. Do. It does, and it uh, Wraith King early on, like he needs that help. He does not farm these creeps. Look at this, like he's. Farming this incredibly slowly without them. He's only level four right now. <laughs> Where are my Skella bros? They gone. <laughs> so uh, they're going like, to just give the lane for the moment to the snap fires. Excalibur, again, the arrow's coming through. He did get off the morph, but with the triple remnant jump, huge commitment. I don't think they have the damage. Excalibur is able to shove him back over the cliff and to safety, but... Pressure is mounting, he's still leading slightly in CS. As King R's rotated, and he wants to go on Big Num here. Big swoop forward, connected with the Fire Spirit. That should be enough for the kill it is. So King R counters the rotation, and now they look for a bit more. Pikachu, uh, he'll be just fine for the moment, though. Yeah, but nice uh, rotation from the supports of bait. I assume they wanted the Ember, but I don't think they're going to kill the Ember until Dendi picks up like a Blink Dagger or uh, Ghostic starts to pick up a little bit more farm. And 45 doing... and 21. Oh, Has he overextended, though? If this arrow connects, it's probably enough for a kill here. Big Num not finding an opportunity for that. Keeps on pump faking. He'll go for the Catapult instead. And the Phoenix is right back to salve him up and get that Legion to a healthy state of HP. Yeah, it looks like Dendi's doing extremely well on bottom lane. Just look All at the last All three other hits. cores. Like, yeah. they're topping the charts. Easy. What to do? Marana can't be everywhere. <laughs> Palantimos is like, I am done with the lanes. This is no longer a laning phase game. And you can see that reflected in his net worth. He's below his Mars off lane. Level-wise, he's really struggling. And Wraith King does want to go to the jungle, but not this early. Like, he's pretty slow at this stage. I got lucky there, though. Ooh, that's nice. Gets the poor man. Bang, bang, gets two. Some lags for bait. Quick pause here. So, uh, net worth-wise, it's uh, actually a slight advantage for Cyber Legacy, but it, it just kind of feels like Bates getting whatever they want. Yeah, all three of the cores are having still a very good game. Um, and I, they're going to like come online earlier, would you say, for the most part, compared to this Wraith King? Yeah, I think so. Uh, what Wraith King really hates, and I think Brian pointed this out, and I really like that point, was Wraith King really doesn't want to fight against three farmed cores. Uh, it's just really easy then for them to poke him and get his ulti out early on. He wants to be able to fight 1v1 against like these single cores, uh, be really strong, have like the double ulti up, and just kind of run you over. But when all three cores are getting farmed, he doesn't have like an easy kill target. Uh, and I think they have pretty good poke for him too. Like Wraith King also really hates poke. They're, like, they're very like, good at kiting as yeah. well. Like they've got the DK slow later on. They've got a lot of stuns, the fire spirits, the bloodlust move speed. Yeah, Legion's exactly. very fast naturally. So like he's going to have a hard time hitting. He's reliant on the team to kind of set up those fights. I would say if the Legion were like really under farmed, maybe 
it'd be a good Wraith King game, but uh, that has not been the case. Ghostic has absolute farm, I would say. He's going to grab an early hood, which I think negates most of uh, Cyber Legacy's damage early on. And it's just like, it's a really good pipe game. It's good against uh, all five heroes. Leader in net worth overall is that Ember Spirit. Do you, can he pop off? Will Pikachu be able to take over? He's definitely having a better better time than he did in game one. Uh, I think he had a he has the same net worth as he did at like the fifteen minute mark last game. <laughs> I'm not even trying to flame him. Yeah, he he went from one and zero to one and four, and uh, that really that really set them back. But this time around, doing pretty well. Yeah, and he had no CS because he didn't have Firefly, so he just kind of I don't know how to say this, but he existed. <laughs> He sort of he was Passively, just in that game, very yeah. passive game for like him. if I were Pikachu after I think like 15 minutes I know they called it at 18 but I would have called it at like 12 13 minutes when like I can't play this I have no levels of Firefly this is terrible <laughs> oh no Courier is gonna get sniped by the God's rebuke down bottom that was Dendi's treads delayed oh, that's pretty big actually treads are a very value pickup they're still gonna try to harass last hero looks like they just want to apply some pressure to the tower with the catapult wave coming in yeah and Denny had already popped his ulti once before but it looks like he didn't actually hit the tower at all but if they could get uh the tower with this or at least get it very low that'd be a huge boon arrow coming in but there is an awarded we'll take care of the catapult yeah so i think that was the, the real push. target they're gonna pop the mars ultimate try to engage here onto the ogre the arrow's cooling down though do they have the damage to kill off this beefy boy they spear him back and away from Dendi's support and he will end up falling Looks like the trade, though, is that Ghostic is going to try to bring down this top tower in turn as they rotate. Ember Spirit on the hunt. This would be a huge kill if Pikachu can secure it. He does have the max flame guard. But here comes the Sunray. Chains, instant interruption. Purge off of those chains. Swoops away to safety. Really nice teamwork there as Bait are now in fold retreat. But Pikachu gets the two hero chains with the oh, remnant he misses form. on Ghostic. Doesn't manage to connect. With the follow-up, though, is Ghost down the run, but he's got the Arcane Rune coming through. Arrow just barely missed on Excalibur. He's going to chase for more Excalibur, though, not easy to kill. So they'll accept the two, but they got that Legion, which they so desperately needed. And uh, for now, the tower alive, though. It's in deny range up top. And he gets a creep uh, deny at the last time. Just a little bit of a cheeky thing to remember him by. Really nice rotations, though. Like you said, the Arcane Rune making all of that happen. Uh, and that was the Legion trying to save King Ark. Like, if Ghostic just ditches out there, I think he's probably fine. But mm -hmm. he was trying to do too much, and he overrated how tanky he was. He doesn't quite have uh, his hood yet. So he's got to be a little bit careful there. That was a lot of damage that was output by Pikachu, who's a very high level. And that's going to throw their lead a little. Surprised but that they didn't deny this tower yet. It looks like it's going down now. It's Happy Dura is going to get dueled under that same tower. No TP support. And some easy damage and a tower to boot for Ghostic. Yeah, I'm also very surprised that they didn't go for the tower deny. Uh, they're going to smoke his two. They honestly may not have noticed, but that's no excuse. The Cyber Legacy now smoking, as you mentioned. They want to go on the Dondo. They've who's... got the Mars ulti, and will Dendi read this? He's got to be a little bit careful Doesn't here. Doesn't have those treads. Ah, uh, nice game sense. Look at that, the wily veteran. Oh, he might lose the courier again. He's never going to get these treads, man. No, he he knows. He knows. I think he should know. And a lot of wasted time here, Blitz. And oh, yeah, this is excellent. Look, uh, just good games. They're going to lose their mid tower, maybe, if they don't rotate. Palantimos They've got another catapult. In. They've got the Dragonite with the Bloodlust. Moving on to Palantimos. Oh, they'd love to pop that ultimate. It's such a long cooldown early, but they will force the rotation. This does mean the bottom tower is not being taken, though. And now they commit with the Mars ultimate. Follow-up Spear is there, but it's on to Dendi. He's very tanky. Phoenix swooping into the midst of the fight. The egg gets dropped on top of them all, but there's not enough fire spirits out. They quickly make sh work of it, bring it down. Now Ghostic charging in. He's powerful, this but he's five also on one. 1v5, and he's getting his butt beat now as he tries to run, but the Spear says no, and Pikachu, another kill to his name, may chase for more. Excalibur and LeBron going to have to trickle back. And they're going to get the mid-tower themselves now as wow, a result just, uh, of this. Everybody walk or TP mid. Let's brawl. And Pikachu it works. is having such a good game right now. This, Four, is, zero, two. this is the unsurprised Pikachu. He is prepared for uh -oh. whatever comes his way. I can't believe you made that reference. You out of control. LD. In a good or a bad way. Hello, uh, hello fellow kids. A little bit of both. <laughs>
So far, so good, though, for uh, Cyber Legacy. Maybe it's just whoever has the Mirana. So we're going to see here. I am a little bit surprised that they decided to go for this kill. This is a 1300 HP Wraith King under a Tier 1 tower. And they even saw the Mars come in. They had a sentry down, but both cores just waited too long. And Dendi, uh, he gets arrowed. He gets uh, caught. Kanar, very ambitious egg, it has to be said as well. Like, they're outside of the... Uh, Snapfire, they're not really the best at killing. I guess Marana's decent, but when you just drop it in the middle of the team, there's no way you're getting that off. And Ghostick actually just goes in 1v5 thinking he might have a kill on, on a Marana, but they have to be more patient here on uh, bait. They've had very good laning phases that they've now thrown away. Look at this blitz. We've got our uh, our Blade Male Ember Spirit. It has been buffed a little bit. You know, Envy uh, was going for this build at the, s at the summit. Uh, he was also doing Necrobook on carries before, like, anybody was. It really. wasn't working very well, must be said. They did not win a single map that tournament. I don't know if that was his build or just, like, a C9 thing, if I'm honest. <laughs> Let me uh, but how do you like it this game is? Well, they get the connection here on the Dragon Knight, but he just stays alive with the help of his Phoenix buddy. Now the Mortimer's Kiss is coming through. Denny's just bang. charging. <laughs> He's looking to breach the wall here and dive Cyber Legacy. They will back away. A lot of commitment for nothing. Blade Mail didn't feel very impactful there, that's for sure. It's just a good item for cost. Just value stats, Yeah, basically. for like 2k gold, you get, what is it, 28 damage. 10 uh, and 6 armor. Yeah, for interiors, it's especially value because it's, you're essentially getting a free 38 damage and 6 armor. Mm -hmm. uh, plus, the active is really low mana cost. It's only like 25 mana or something like that. It's like silly how little mana it is. Uh, we'll see. It doesn't help you farm, though. That's one of the... I guess it does a little bit with the damage, but not a ton. They're looking to fight, though. Cyber Legacy moving in. Excalibur about to get caught target. here under the Moonlight Shadow. There's no detection of the chains, but he starts morphing immediately. Follow up. Well, this is a very complicated gank rotation there. Tempty, he just says, okay, I'll just wait for him away. See you later. I think they did it in the wrong order. It did not seem like they're on the same page there about who's going first, whether it's the uh, Snapfire or the Marana. I think when he went onto the low ground, the Snapfire cookies herself. Hits him with that. Then you arrow. Yeah, and then you're. She's. He's probably dead. Instead, they changed. He just started morphing. Yeah, that was the easiest. Oh, okay. Well, I guess. Welp. <laughs> guess everybody is here. <laughs> Maybe they could have gone it if they had, like a Mars there to begin with. But if it's the Snapfire, uh, I believe as soon as you cook, cast the cookie, even on yourself, it breaks the invis temporarily. Mm -hmm. So you probably have to wait until he gets to the low ground. Uh, and he doesn't have a ward there. They so. are smoked. They're looking to move in here. Ghost Ghostic may be attempting for the duel, but that is not the target you want to be dueling, and certainly not head on. No, they're just completed the hood there. already. He is very tanky, and they lack for damage pretty heavily uh, on bait. And Excalibur, he's going again for this uh, Manta-style build. We've seen it from him. We saw it last game. It's obviously good against chains. There's some nice things to dispel, but doesn't really give you a lot of punching power. No, not at all. Just not strong right now. Is the E-Blade build out of favor? Or? Uh, E-Blade's really good, but I think against uh, Wraith King and Ember Spirit, you probably don't want it. Oh, Blast Hero is going to find an opening. LeBron just melts. Goodbye, LeBron. I haven't seen much of him lately. But uh, this LeBron, at least uh, doing his best to stand in here. Show us some good deaths. And he does have the pipe. He's going to do the trick with the hood and the pipe where he locks it. I like that. For the, the double shield. Yes, sir. I think not enough people utilize that. Almost everybody does in pro games. but it's also Another big one is uh, like the Monkey King not skilling your, your tree dance until you're ready to use it so it doesn't get put on cooldown. That's a, that's a Topson special. LD with the knowledge. Actually, I didn't know that one. Really? So, yeah. You clearly have not been keeping up with Reddit. You're not the old blitz that I uh, used to know and love. I never You've posted anymore. You've changed, William. I, I think I checked, like, the last time I posted it was, like, a month and a half ago. He just searches for his name, guys, so if you don't put his name in, he's not going to read it. Negative. <laughs> uh, this is looking pretty dicey. Dendi jumps directly into a spear, but the team is there in support. They're going to purge that one off, and they look What's to the go. Egg looking they like? bring down the Snapfire. Beautiful egg on the backside. No pressure onto it whatsoever. Insta buyback Bang. from the Snapfire. The bang comes through. Pikachu in danger. He'll remnant away. Snapfire not going to be able to offer a whole lot aside from 
some defensive capabilities. I think they should re-engage on Cyber Legacy. There's nothing up on bait. Dendi says, great, I think we should re-engage too, and okay. they're gonna delete Pikachu just like that. He was surprised for sure. Last Morphing hero, straight. standing his ground. They are gonna lose the Morphling though. Oh no, the he's net, all their damage. The net comes out, Gostic. Well, I don't know. He's got plus 20. Maybe he could do the heavy lifting here. Goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Last Hero. Dendi stepping up as well. They've got a lot of sustain with the Phoenix in reserve, burning Palantimos down. He does have this early Shadow Blade as well as Armlet, so he hits quite hard. This is not your Radiance, DK. This is a Bash Boy ready to get up in your face and brawl. Last Hero now tanking all sorts of Phoenix damage, but he's so tanky, and now the Snapfire ult, it's cooled down. He's laying in the Mortimer's Kisses from distance. Dendi gonna fall as well. Make it three now. The Morphling death just completely caused that fight to self-destruct, and now a tower on top. A juicy cherry here for Cyber Legacy. Yeah, Cyber Legacy made the right call there. Even though they get the kill on the Ember Spirit, uh, they had nothing left. Like, they had used all their ultis. The Phoenix that could happen, and I was thinking to myself, wow, that was really underwhelming. We saw like 40 spells cast and only the Snapfire died, but he just buys back, comes back in, and it's like they didn't lose a beat. There's no Phoenix Egg anymore. They laid out the majority of their damage. That was the duel as well. Uh, what do you, there's no follow-up. And the crazy part is maybe it could have gone okay because Dendi had a really nice stun right here, but Morphling was morphing into uh, Agi and then just dies. Yeah, the chain stun was so good by Cyber Legacy there. And again, the Marana's having an impact even into the mid game. Yeah, and I really like the build too. Going and he's for gone the for the spirit, spirit vessel. vessel. Yeah. So Morph might have died anyways, but that position guarantees that he dies. Well, as the replay concludes, we return to a Roshan underway. Bait are in the pit. And I don't know if Cyber Legacy are going to be able to react to this in time. They're just not close enough. They don't seem to know what's happening. And it's likely to be an Aegis going the way of Excalibur. Positioning here great from Dendi. He can blink away if they try to go on him. He can interrupt any sort of smoke. This is a really nice comeback move. I like this. I think uh, they needed something like this quite badly. They were losing this game. And despite losing what looks like the last like four fights, uh, the gold lead isn't so out of control quite yet. Like the game is still within reach, I would say. And they didn't pop anything for this, so maybe if they get a good catch here, but it looks like gonna Dendi's gonna shadow be the first in the target. Sentries on the north side. Dendi gets up the stun, though. He just walked in vision, and now he tries to run away. In comes the Ogre, but they're going onto the Mars. This hero's way too tanky. He's even got an essence ring. And meanwhile, Snapfire shredding them from the rear Vanguard, they chase onto Kanar, looking for a bit more. He's got nothing left in the tank. He'll drop as well. Three down, just like that. They are on the march. I mean, normally when we see Wraith Kane, we think, you know, we talk about the lineup being slow, like he's not going to get involved early, but he's gone Armlet, he's gone Shadow Blade. He is a very active hero this game. Yeah, I really like his build. Uh, I really thought he was going to go the Radiance, but I think uh, he probably recognized that the meta has tempoed up and he needs to be able to fight. Remember how poor he was uh, in the beginning of the game? I've never seen anybody poorer. Oh, this is an aggressive move by Excalibur. He instantly loses the Aegis. D leaded. He is going to move forward now, though. He's turned into a Wraith King. Gets the stun off from Palantimos. I don't think that's the hero you want to engage on, Blitz. They're going to try for it, though. Backup is arriving. Excalibur trying to force them out. They commit so much for this. The duel coming through just to kill him once. This is Perfect a really nice positioning egg. on the egg, though. Can anyone bring it down? Last hero wants to go for it. The Wraith King tries to lunge it, but he can't. Kaboom! Now they lock him down for a second time. Maybe they can kill his highness twice. They will. Now the Marana respawning. Does she try to come back in? Dendi on the chase. Right back the other way. Bait have pulled off a great bait. And they're going to look for Happy Dira as well. Excalibur just showing his mastery of the Morph Man. And Cyber Legacy, I mean, it's a 7k gold lead still, but it feels like they can easily crumble here if they keep on making mistakes. They can't lose their supports. And more importantly, I really like how Look they committed. The, those odds were before that team fight, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's really one-sided at this point. Considering going into this game, it was dead even at 1.87. Uh, but finally, they're going to grab some towers too. They get the mid-tier one, which I think was very important. That did cost the buyback, though, from the Legion Commander. And that's why the gold lead hasn't really switched. Yeah, and he, he has been, you know, up there in terms of net worth, though now you see sort of starting to trickle down in the ranks. This was a Legion that was so rich. He was the number one that. at yeah. the start of the game. He was so, so rich. I, I saw this Wraith King at, like, 
level five jungling or level three jungling, in fact, <laughs> and they pulled his skeletons away, and somehow he's just fought his way back in. Close to a BKB now, the leader in net worth in the game. And it looks like they're prepped for an aggressive move forward. There are sentries littering this Radiant jungle, but they might just fortuitously avoid them. They're going to head towards mid. Kainar, he's just trying to hit a few creeps here, and he is about to get caught out with the arrow, the all kinds of disables thrown at the Phoenix, and the Firebird will crack. Now they chase, looking for more. Get the stun on LeBron, quickly purged off. Nicely done by Ghostic, but last Ghostic hero needs to get out. might chase. He has the ability to go on Dendi here. He gets off the arena. He's going to pin that Legion down. Remember, this Legion can't afford to die back. She's going to be so damn poor, and she is so damn dead. Out for 70, but Excalibur can do some egg. good work here. Here's the egg. They've got to focus it down. This time they do as a unit. They pound that Phoenix. That's a dieback on him, a dieback on the Legion, a death on the DK, a full-blown retreat, but Excalibur Excalibur pursued and hounded by Pikachu. Look at off the chance. They should have another stun or a spear momentarily. They pin him to the south side of the map and they just hammer him down. He's not dead yet, though. Waves up and they will give up the chase. They don't so, have the Mirana. So that was a double dieback as well as a DK death. And meanwhile, LeBron is uh, just kind of chilling here for the moment. Dodges the arrow, gets up the stun. TP. Oh, just in time. <laughs> Makes it out. That was close. Uh, that time, the egg was not ideal. In the previous fight, it was actually on the other side of all the Cyber Legacy heroes, so it was impossible for them to hit it. This time around, King R, he just places it pretty much smack dab in the center of everybody. Uh, and they need the egg to land. It's the only thing that really won them the fight uh, previously, and might have actually won them this fight too. Because you need the double Sunray. But they weren't able to get it off, and that was so heartbreaking. I it's also only level 1 egg. By the way, Excalibur has a Mask of Madness. I have not... Maybe I'm just out of touch, but I have not seen this build very often on Morphling. I think he wanted it for that fight at bottom. And also it builds into both his Butterfly and his uh, Satanic. True. So I think it's okay-ish. Um, it's just very dangerous like yeah. in, in fights. You got to be careful when you activate it. I, I, I really think he bought it just for like that one-off fight, thinking they needed a bit of oomph. Also, it, it does give you a lot of damage with the bloodlust, especially. Yeah, just uh, again, that Dendi is so underfarmed. He needs a BKB. 2,000 HP on this hero means nothing. Uh, the Mars Arena plus the Snapfire ulti, he has nowhere to go. And you can see, even despite all of his armor. And the Silver Edge is coming. Wraith Kane's got that queued up now that the BKB's done. Here comes the smoke, looking to initiate its last hero again. He jumps in like a hero, and the follow-up is there from the rear. Snapfire just slaughtering them with so again. much firepower. The DK's dead as well. The rest of the team scrambling the retreat, but Kingnar has been corralled and has nowhere to go. No Icarus dive. It's not going to waste the egg. He gets pinned to the south side again, and down he goes. No. Every fight going their way. They they smoked up, or uh, they, they ran up onto the high ground with vision, but the blink initiation is just so good from this Mars. Yeah, last hero was found every single fight. Uh, we haven't really seen like the blink DK been able to get anything going, get to the back lane or anything like that, but he has consistently found both the Ogre and the DK. I feel like every single time that I, I hear the Mars Arena ult, I just see Dendi stuck. And I haven't seen him miss like a single spear yet, to be totally honest. No, he's... Uh, Dendi's got to be really careful here uh, because his blink initiation to get to the back line means so much for their team. He's really their only initiator, and if he's found by the Mars every single time, uh, it's going to be rough. You mentioned the back line, but the back line is an 1800 HP Snapfire and an 1800 HP Murano with a mech and a spirit vessel. Like, All right. Even the back line is tanky. The back line has now become their front line. Yeah, their average HP They're is just probably line like 2,000. <laughs> he just needs to kind of get in there. They're mix. a girthy line. Let's put it that way. And they're about to lose this tower, it looks like. I. They might be able to go on Pikachu. Looking for the initiation. How, though? Oh, not going to happen. No initiation for the Legion. He's so poor. He's still trying to get a Blink Dagger. It's 25 minutes in, and considering how much net worth he had at one point, uh, this is... You know, he's living in the past. He's ping for the rune, hoping that maybe it's something. And it's an invis rune, which isn't bad, but they're going to run into LeBron. And Goodbye. LeBron is going to get dunked on here. It looks like out comes the net, and down goes the ogre. Oh, no. Rest Dendi. of the team also running. Dendi's on, re on the retreat. The Moonlight Shadow Pursuit is there. Ghostic in position to purge off any stuns as Phoenix swoops in and says, take me instead. Nice juke on the spear. 
Only a matter of time before they run him down. But they're also going to manage to find Dendi as Pikachu initiates. Actually, it is the oh, Phoenix who gets out. And Dendi TPs away too. Unbelievable. But somehow all except for the lumbering Oaf Ogre do escape. Huh. Somehow that was reasonable. Yeah, uh, it's still not great. They're running for dear life every five seconds. Yeah, it's terrible. But, but it's better than feeding. Yeah, no one died, aside from the ogre. But he died in the, the beginning, so. Oh, Palatimos, he's got the completed silver edge. He wants to go ham. Sees Kanar, gives him the slap. He's got the silence as well from the Mind Breaker. Oh. And just shreds him. Oh, that crit damage. Oh, that looks like so it hurt. So sweet. Clips the wings of the Phoenix, and now it's a straight mosey over to mid. Split push time for Excalibur. That is the nice thing about this build, I suppose. They could just go for the high ground if they wanted on Cyber Legacy. And they might just do that. They're rotating bottom. There's a bit more of a wave here. They've got a catapult. Change the start on Dendi. Follow up arrow coming through. The spear and oh, actually caused the arrow to miss, but I don't think it's going to matter. They've got too much damage. Dendi can't withstand this punishment. Down he goes. No buyback. No dragon form for. Or has buyback, sorry, but no dragon form for 30. I don't know. I don't even buyback. know if it's worth it. Yeah. If They're he doesn't get BKB, he's going to lose this game anyways. It's oh, the items are piling in now. Completed Radiance. Another snipe by Big Num again. This Marana just keeps on connecting. They slam down another kill. Now they all charge into Ghost. Ghostic. They will get him as well. Last he hero won the drops duel. the arena with his last breath. He says, take him down, boys. And LeBron is going to get smashed. It's Excalibur versus the world. It's 1v3 here. And he's got to hoof it back to the well. But damage is done. They're going to lose a lane. And Wraith King still has his ulti during this entire time, LD. They are not even close to bringing him down. He's going to go towards mid now. Uh, he's just way too farmed. They don't have buybacks on any of these three heroes. This this might just be game. Out comes the Skelebros. Tower dropping low. Arrow coming through. Got to keep your wits about you, Dondo. Dendi, I mean, they just don't care about him at this point. He can blink in and stun, but what's it going to matter? He deals 120 a hit. Uh, he's, he's so irrelevant. Uh, in this game right now. Just in this game. We're not... <laughs> no, no, no. He actually played a great DK game last game. <laughs> or are you saying but he's relevant in his career, Will? No, 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 no. Dude, this guy's won a TI. Okay. Just saying. You know, there's a lot of angry Dundee fans. They might come find no, you. No, no, no. I just think in this game, he's... I, I don't... Including me. Yeah, I don't really know how he's going to come back. Yeah. Everyone's a Dundee fan. Good. You're not unique. I was about to tell you to watch your mouth, but... Show some I just think that elders, without so. a BKB, the same exact thing happens every single fight. He's going to get Mars ulted. Uh, he doesn't even have to get speared. It's... But the now we're getting right to the after. point where it's like, even when he gets the BKB, it's going to feel too late, right? Because yeah. DK is just, or uh, Wraith King's just going to right-click you to death. They have a lot of damage on the side of uh, Cyber Legacy. And it's good mixed damage. It's not just magic damage, although that is a large portion of it. But they've got the Wraith King right-clicks. Yeah, he's almost got AC, and they're going to run into Dendi here again. Oh, they find him. They get the silence off with the Silver Edge. Purge comes through, but he just gets exploded. Even the game can't keep up with the level of damage that... Cyber Legacy is putting out, and they're looking to send bait packing to a game number three. Chains come through. Beautiful connection. It's a triple for Palantimos. This Wraith King was in the jungle at level three, and he's now beyond godlike. What are we watching? And a tip to LeBron. Uh, and we're just going to witness what looks like stomp after stomp. I'd imagine that uh, bait's going to tap out reasonably soon. Well, this it's either that or their base will just explode. Uh, they, they can have an extra minute or two if they'd like. Yeah, but I really think a lot of this game comes down to that mid engagement where they walked in one by one, the Mars got the ulti off, they took the tower themselves, and then from there, every single fight, uh, aside from the one that kind of went half decent at top, just went in favor of Cyber Legacy. This DK wasn't able to get BKB. Oh, they found to Excalibur. He wants, Pikachu wants to steal this DD rune. Nice counter play here with the replicate, but he's going to get changed again. The BKB comes out, Excalibur. Gonna walk away, arrow <laughs> just makes it out. Not fast enough. But yeah, I basically that mid fight is really where it feels like the the game kind of crumbled. Oh yeah, they had like three of the top net worths uh, out of four. The Ember was a little bit ahead, but uh, all three of them died and they lost uh, the mid tower. Do you feel like both of these games? It seems like they're just out getting outplayed. You know, whoever wins is just getting right. stomped. Exactly. Yeah. Rather than like, oh, their draft oh. is just bad. Here comes a big fight, and oh. here comes a hell of a lot of damage. Excalibur does have quite a bit of armor, but they've yet to kill anyone aside from the Snapfire, who just instantly buys back. The team's standing there. Dendi Walk waddling around in his BKB. This DK just does not feel like a hero. A lot of big melee creeps, and uh, that's enough.
Fate say, we have been bested. Let's take it to a deciding game number three. Nice. And we're going to get to a game three where we'll see a little bit more bait. Uh, game one was very promising, of course. Game two 